So good morning, everyone. Welcome to our one Taiji lecture a week, public lecture from the European Taiji Communication Center. The European Taiji Culture Communication Center is a global network platform and provided the gateway for many a deeper application of traditional Chinese culture, philosophy, medicine, and language. We have worldwide top master in this field to give public lecture and courses, and we hope more and more people in the world will join, enjoy us to extend the beauty of Chinese culture. Now, my name is Xiang Yu from Germany. Today, we are talking about the young state of 37 step of Taiji Quan. The Young Style Taiji Quan organized in Guangfu Town, Yunnan, Hebei province. The founder was Yang Lu Chan. The Young Style Taiji Quan is highlighted in the sixth technical chapter of quietness, lossness, rightness, slowness, evidence, and stability. Today, we are, going, we are glad to have our two master Zhao Youbin and his son Zhao Liang with us. Master Zhao Youbin is the fifth generation descendant of Yang Style Tai Ji Quan. His grandmother is the granddaughter of Yang Lu Chan, the founder of Yang Style Tai Ji Quan. Today we are going to the fourth class. The lectures will be two parts. The first part is around 40 minutes of introduction of demonstration. The second part um, you can also ask the question or write your question and comments in the chat every time during this lecture. And the Master Zhao Youbin is also in our today in our uh, lessons, so you, he will give you answer. So let's welcome to Mr. Zhao Youbin. I will put his video now. from today. Before the class, I'm going to talk about some key points concerning Shou Yan Shen Bu Fa, techniques of hands, eyes, body, and steps, and also some basic movements of the last class. In the last class, we referred to some hand techniques, but did not mention pie zhang, whip palm or throw palm, and chuan zhang, punching palm or knife palm, which will appear later. Next, I will explain some shapes and movements of the palms. We have talked enough about the pushing palms and changes of the fourth roots. For example, pie zha, throw palm or whip palm in the form white snake spits its tongue. The center of the palm must be upwards, but where is its fourth point? Just between the wrist and the back of the hand. The key point is that by taking the elbow as its original point, you should relax the shoulder and drop down the elbow and at once throw out the forearm elastically, slacking the rival's face. The fourth point is at the back of the hand. Now, it's time for Chuan Zhang, punching palm in the form high pad on the horse. First, the force flows forward through four or five fingers. Second, sink the wrist. The back of the hand and the forearm must be smooth. With the bow stance, extend five fingers and make the force reach the finger tips. Meanwhile, sink the wrist. 
In last class, there was a movement in the form single wave that was Gaussian hook hand. What is the function of the extended fingers and of a hook hand? And what is its movement? First, fingers for grasping, grabbing, for catching and holding. The force is released from four fingers, and the wrist is powerful. Second, hook for hitting. Third, for blocking, force neutralizing and punching. Now, a short demonstration for hitting. He punches with his left fist. I grasp him and step forward to hit him. This is a very visual movement. Grasping and grabbing is not a very visual movement. For example, he pushes his right palm. I turn over my hand to grab him. This is the movement for grasping. And then I catch his thumb and little finger and overturning the hand. This is a movement of hook hand. Now, the third one. Blocking, force neutralizing and punching. He punches with his left fist towards my chest. The fist must not be too high. That would be fish tail single whip. This is hook hand single whip. Be careful with my elbow. Pressing down just for blocking him. So the elbow must not be too high, and the force must not be too brute to press the rival. Now, it is necessary to draw back the forearm. When blocking and when drawing back, make the rival's force neutralized. It's time for beating back, because the rival must surely take back his fist which is a good chance for me to hit his sternum. And how to realize functions of hook hand, also called hanging hand? Some friends have only a movement of grasping, grabbing, but no movements of wrists, elbows, and shoulders. It is not right. The right way is after having swung two hands and before stretching them out, the first thing to do is relaxing the shoulders and sinking the elbows, and then pushing out the palm with the external side of the little finger and the wrist facing forward. The fourth point is at the wrist. The right elbow must be dropped down. We must always pay attention to the elbows. The main function of relaxing the shoulders and sinking the elbows is making the qi, vital energy, sink and not vice versa. The above is the first reason. The second one, the elbows are always playing a function in defense. For example, in the form step up and raise hands. When the opponent comes at me, I'm completely open. Then I must close myself at once. With what? Of course, with two elbows. How about fists or palms? Not so important now. Now the most important is relaxing the shoulders and sinking the elbows closing the elbows to control the rival's hands in order to protect my chest. This is a draw-in movement, and later I stretch them out. The above are basic points for movements 
of the upper limb. Hand techniques include all movements of the upper limb. In the form single whip, when stretching the hand, firstly, the force point must be at the bottom of the elbow, letting it be relaxed and flexible, neutralizing the rival's power so as to protect myself. During stretching, the force point must be at the external edges of the little finger and wrist. Just when the arm is almost straight, the force point must flow from the hand to the wrist for hitting out at once. Attention, not grabbing, not grasping, but controlling the rival's left arm with our right hand when you beat out, he will withdraw his left arm. Now, it's time for you to follow him with your wrist. This is the continuous movement of blocking, neutralizing, and punching. During the motion, it is a must to sink the elbow, palm, fingers, and wrist are gammed. Firstly, the power moves from wrist to fingers for grasping or wrist hitting. For wrist hitting in single whip, when the arm is ready to extend out, I resist the rival with the power from the wrist. The moving point is clearly at the top of the wrist and five fingers are naturally closed together. It is for resisting with the wrist, not for grasping with fingers. Please remember one thing. When we use the wrist for hitting the rival, how about the elbow? It is not right if you raise the elbow up like this. The tape of the elbow must be sunken and a little inward, so as to protect ourselves and control the rival. So, shoulders, elbows, and wrists must be relaxed and gained. How to pinch five fingers? Just put the thumb and other four fingers together, like this. It is also allowed to put first three fingers together with ring finger and little finger in the Please note the shape of the hand. Its center must be hollow enough to hold an egg. Do not lift the hand up, just relax and sink it. It seems that hanging hand or hook hand for a single whip is easy, but there are quite a few skills. Please note, the main purpose of hanging hand is not just for grasping, but for resisting the rival with the wrist. Then all fingers are pinched together, increasing the joint force via the motion of the wrist. Secondly, as a movement of arm, the shoulders must be relaxed, elbow button be dropped down. The main purpose for this
a vertical surface. Not like this. This is not vertical. The back of the fist and the forearm should be relatively smooth. If there is a bend, the force would be dispersed. Neither like this, nor with the thumb on the index. Note, the face must be flat and vertical to the forearm. The back must also be flat. The fist must be solid. This is the right shape. During the movement of the fist, what should we pay attention to? The fist is part of the hand among techniques of hands, eyes, body, and steps. Here I only mention a little bit about it. When we are ready to stretch out the fist, the fist is empty. Its heart is empty. But empty does not mean hollow. We are still holding it, but without any power. Once we are closing to the rival, ready to punch, the fist must be solid. How shall we understand the saying, heart of fist must be empty? It is not okay if you are always keeping the heart of the fist hollow like this. Empty heart of the fist means, before stretching out the fist, the fingers are just pinched together, not so tightly. When you are closing to the rival, the heart of the fist the fist. The shoulder must be relaxed. It is wrong if the fourth point is here. The elbow joint must be initiatively extended. Not like this, not too straight. The elbow should be relaxed and sunk down. Never tighten the arm just like a rigid stick. So, when ready to stretch the fist, the shoulder must be relaxed. The elbow must be loose. The waist smoothly drives the arm and the fist to stretch out. All
smoothly drives the arm and the fist to stretch out. All movements are decisive and swift. It is also a kind of movement of hands and arms. So you see, its moving law is the same as the palms. Before punching, the heart of the fist should be facing up. Note, while stretching the fist, we must rotate it inward. Finally, with the eye of the fist outward, face forward and the back outward. Never directly hit out with the heart of the fist inward. The punching must have the penetrating power. The power is not empty. Just postpone and prolong the power, trying to touch and shock the rival. Even though you could not touch him, your momentum forces him to stop back. That's okay. We have a saying, 隔山打牛, that is, your energy is powerful enough to penetrate the hill to kill the enemy over there. Concerning making a fist, we specially emphasize that the heart of the fist must be empty, which does not mean that the fist is hollow. It must be solid, but not be locked. Once punching out, the force explodes from inside out, so the to kill the enemy over there. By the way, is it allowed that the heart of the fist faces downward when having punched out? Yes, no problem. And how about punching upward also allowed? You will see similar movements later. So, that's why we say there is no fixed rules for Tai Ji Quan. We must try to master its basic laws and key points. That's all for today's explanation. Today, we have talked about hook hand and its skills, and also some movements of the feats. Now, please watch the video and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Chu 
，重心不变，后左脚尖，左手收回，收字，右手腕内成为十字手，然后重心后移，左手肘向左前方展出，右手心朝下，与左胸起，同时抬右腿。这个动作，遇八十五式抱虎归山、十字手变抱虎归山的动作是一样的，只是前面的过渡式不一样。再看一遍，体右转，后左脚，力量内扣，然后身体平稳的移至左腿，手起脚起，眼随左手。然后做右搂膝二步式，向右后方右手从右膝旁平举，与左手平，同时扣右脚尖，两手画椭圆形平抚，收回来，再伸出去向右斜方做掌，左掌心朝里，然后松胯向左迈步，随弓步左手旁。右脚起，左手，右脚落，左手踩，右手向前，重心后移，左手穿起，右手握拳下盖，到左肘下。再看一遍。手底颤锤。右脚尖。尽量内扣，两背要松活，圆转，两手要画平伏，松腰画短体，两背要相随的荡动，不要太开，也不要太散，腰要微右转，侧身落步，眼视前方，腋下要空。Hello everyone. Next girl will help you to learn the 37 moves of Yang's Tai Chi Chuan. The seven style is to weave the people, which is the traditional Chinese musical instrument. Weaving the people is like holding the people in your arms, just like Westerns playing the guitar. After this action, people will find it more interesting. First. I'll do it from the connection to approach stir. After you see the third, you may think that its action is the same as the front leg, only the left and right directions are different. In Yang's Tai Chi Chuan, 
the rhythm posture of the handle and the swing of the loop are actually the same. It is opposite. The reason is that the way and the root of the two hands towards the middle are different. Put two hands together, one above the another. Like two hands drawing a standing circle in the earth. From a single whip to hand. Look at this together. Close your hands from outside to the middle. Snap. Close from both sides to the middle. Then send it forward. The two hands meet. The left hand controls the other's wrist. And the right hand controls the other's elbow. Defend from both sides. Rolling back or kicking will be okay. Give it forward and send it away. In fact, folding is like a bar protection force. One hand presses down and the other turns up. There is burning and breaking action, which is called folding. Press one hand on the other's wrist. Picking one hand holds the other's elbow to break his arm. It's standing circle. Finally, it's all about staying together. You can kick forward or stroke backward, which is okay. Let's talk about the action first. It's also an empty stir. By step forward, move the weight forward and over it to the left leg. Lift your right knee outward slightly, bending the knee joint. Then fall down directly. But leg must be relaxed. Not upward or turned. Relax the knee joint slightly and lift, fall down slightly. Move your way to your right leg. Turn your body to right. Lift your left nerve. Put your heel on the ground and adjust your weight slightly from 1.9 to 3.7. The back foot half step forward. Drop your feet. Shift your weight back, turn your body to the right, and lift your knee, heel drop. Adjust the spill bone. Look at the hand from the side. One would move the gravity and hurt. The five finger of the right hand straight forward. With the palm feet left, while landing, Turn right palm downward, pull it back, press it down, bend your left elbow, and lift it up. The left hand rise at the same time. Place your hand in the middle, in front of your chest. Right hand aim at the left elbow, the heel touches ground slightly. Relax your ankles and knees and move your weight. Rotate your hands slightly inward and forward. Relax hips down the waist and stand here. Take a front view. Let's shape. Hand forward. Palm turn. One. Two. Turn your right hand. Pressing while bring it back. Bend your left elbow against your right one. Draw a standing circle with both hands. Your own leg lift. Heel falls gently. Adjust the gravity. Turn your hands inward and forward. The feeling of relaxing feels just like starting on the brick, dropping springs into the forefoot gently. So as to form a backward pedal for support the waist and spin backward. Keep an end. Back side. Shoulders forward and hands forward. One more again in this direction.
one, half step forward, two, sit back forward and lift your knee, bend to your feet, shift your weight, and send your hands forward. They see the hands drawn to the loop. It is empty stir. So as left hand, just a left right exchange. We call this ball structure Chuanzi Stick in Tai Chi Chuan. You can effectively exchange your leg strength. Knee open, crouch one. This is also an important standing method in Tai Chi Chuan. I hope that if you have time, you can take turns to practice. One neck for three to five minutes, and then exchange. Keeping for several months every day can effectively power your leg and waist strength. This is hand loop. Next. Let's go back to a mountain with tiger. Now you will find that we have four forward directions. No abrupt movement. Holding the tiger back to the mountain will be the first one. Here, let's talk about direction of Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan practices. Eight trigrams and five elements. It shows eight directions in Chinese traditional culture: east, south, west, north. The four apical angles are equally divided at forty-five degrees. So when practicing, it only has eight directions. Now we will have the first forty-five degree angle. I'll do it first, followed by hamstrings, the loop. Body turns behind at forty-five degrees. We are used to facing south, back north. We're practicing, so this actor is to the northwards behind you. The whole ball turned 135 degrees from the east to the northwest. You may not be able to see it clearly from the side. I will turn to this side and do it again. Is very similar to the brush knee and twist stir, but actually they're different. Thirty-seven style is simplified from the traditional Yang Tai Chi Chuan eighty-five style. The former actions as follow: staking the cross hand and turn it around, stopping sideways. The hand and leg goes out at the same time. The brush knee hugging and folding here means picking up the other person and throw away. Embrace tiger return to the mountain here means a hug. Also, how you break hand, tie, knee, and through. So the three actions are different, but difference is not very clear. We can use it to preparation for practicing the traditional Yangtze Tai Chi Chuan. Let's learn more about it first. Connected, left hand, the first move. This empty stir is the weight on your right leg. Bank up to your left third as much as you can with your waist turned. What does it mean to try over nineteen degrees better to? One hundred and thirty-five degrees, and put your weight on your left leg. Right leg can be relaxed and lifted. Turn your body at forty-five degrees to the right back round. Step forward and lock out after landing. Notice the foot angle when lunge. The 
anger between back foot and the front foot is between forty-five and nineteen degrees. Backer from here. Even if you buckle to one hundred thirty-five degrees, lift the knee and step in this direction. Feet also at nineteen degree angle. Heel kick while lunge. Grind the foot, the left foot, buckle in a little. Kicking, grinding, and buckle your foot in. Can adjust the angle between your feet. Do it again. Wrap hips, buckle feet. Keep weight on your right leg. Weight backward on left leg. Lift your knee and step up at forty-five degrees behind you. This is it. Leg movement. About hand while buckle, turn the left palm inward. Drop elbow. Left hand aims at right elbow. Action lot. Then draw an arc downward and outward. With your left hand, draw an arc, just like throwing out. Cover the right hand before your chest. And match your left hand, pulling fingers to the southeast. Turn around and step up to the northwards. Knife the brush knees and the twist the stirrups. Left hand pushes, brush knee. Push palms with your right hand. That it is. Take a look in another direction. Foot backward. Right hand. M left elbow. Focus on the third and body smooth. Left hand spread. Eyes follow. Elbow bent and step forward. Get the hand out. Show the meaning clearly. Normally the hand. Turn around and reach out a little further. Keep narrowing and pushing. Look at applicable direction at forty-five degrees. That is Embry's tiger return to the mountain, because of large rotation direction. Let's show it again to impress more. Front view first. Focus on the hands change. Close and drop. Keep your eyes on your hand. Turn around to aim your hands on forward. Knead with your eyes while turning back. Brush knee, push palm. Notice her moves of neck and waist. Back as much as possible. Tail cannot anymore. While keeping gravity unchanged, turn the gravity. Back hand spread it. Right next right neck. Then turn around and step up, facing to forty five degrees to long. Brush knees and push palm. The rotation is relative large. Turn two hundred and twenty five degrees. One hundred and eighty plus forty-five. We have to go back to a direction where the hands drop the loop. The next move is called fist on the elbow. It's also an ambidextrous. And also in the position of hands drum loop. When I connected the three movements, you will find that the body has turned two hundred and twenty-five degrees to the right in this position, and then turned two hundred and twenty-five degrees back, returning to its origin. Take a look, hands drum loop. 
angry tiger return to the mountain, back to your feet, to arrive at two hundred twenty-five degrees, and reach forty-five degrees behind the apicor. Then turning back to the direction of left hand just now to make an fist turn the elbows. They are very similar. They are both hemispheres. Place the right fist on the left elbow. Three movements are very interesting in this position. Turn the half circle in the same place and went back. More details about fist on the elbow. I said that they all turn the whole body at two hundred and twenty-five degrees to the right, and two hundred and twenty-five degrees to the left again. Then return to the original position and take another ambister. This play is the same verbs in thirty-seven and twenty-eight. Here is Ambrose's tiger return mountain. Next fist on the elbow. Follow up. Doing it in the applicable direction. Left palm flat. Lift your right hand to the shoulder level, just like single wing. Wrap the hip and buckle the foot. Bend the elbow. Back the waist. Lift the knee, warding the left hand up. And push your right hand out. Turn your body to the left. Step up with your left hand warding up. Right hand follows. Turn one two hundred and twenty five degrees, and then turn back to the same direction of the loop. You will find it similar to the single wing. After prison posture, the two palms are also flat. The right buckle, body rotate one hundred and thirty five degrees. The elbow turns back to the right applicator at forty five degrees. And the right hand pushes out by the side palm. From here, hold the hook and go straight. It's also the same in the applicator direction. After this, right hand up and flat, right foot buckled inward as possible as you can. Better over line ten to one hundred and thirty-five degrees. Elbow bend. Turn waist back. Lift the knee. Hold the ball, and the right hand pushes out with palm sitting. If you up to the single wheel. We can do none this applic direction, but the feet on the elbow has to turn forty-five degrees more. Return to the same direction of the hand strong loop. Lunge with what enough here. This is fifth part of the feet on the elbow. Let's look in another direction. If the loop weave in this direction, have back view. Wrap the hip. Back the foot, close to hands. Lift the knee, extend the arm, turn around, and brush the knee. Push the palm. Keep your palms flat. The same. The left hand, right hand up. Hands flat will do. Start with pressing in the eight five style. More simplified it in thirty seven and twenty two. Because of no repeat, wrap hips, back of feet, bend elbows, and return to the waist while shifting the weight to your right neck in that dark way. Close the hips, 
Roll your waist, lift your knee, relax your hips, turn 45 degrees, and fall down. Keep turning body to the left with the bolster flat, and right hand follows. Now this after pong. Left pong is the same as the right pong. Bend your elbow and hold it in front of your chest. Put your entire forearm in front of you. Right palm sitting behind the left hand. This is first part of this action. That part here, front view one more time, looking at the hands. This act is similar to hands drum loop. Also amster. But one hand draws the vast circle diagonally to the side in the air. Draw the vast circle with the right hand go forward down the middle line with standing circles. Backward, make the feet with the half air. Do battle between hands and feet. A little more complex. Instead of looking at your hand, focus on the chains of your necks. Turn your body to left, shift your weight to your left neck, and turn your left hand to the left and stretch it out. At this time, to left, lift the right knee slightly. Fall down. Gravity moves to the right. Turn the body to the right. Sit back with the left hand, bend the elbow downward, and close it in front of the lower abdomen. Knit the leg up, and put the hand in the chest after lifting the neck. Arm rotated, and the palm pushes. Hand the foot outward at the same time. Foot on the ground, and push your hand to the position. This in left hand. When doing this, left hand draws the circle along the left side. Draw it back, and push it out of your chest. Upright foot, then falls down. Back seat. Lift left nerve up and down again. The movement trend of the whole body should be considered with that of the left hand. The left hand guides the whole body like thread. Then turn nerves to outside and turn left with body. The hands knit the necks. They go out together. Left hand knits the right neck, and then the left hand turns to the far left. Then the left hand falls. The right foot falls. The bends in the left elbow back towards the right. The her body also sits back and moves towards the right. The left hand knits the left nerve up at the same time. Retach the arm and push the left hand out. Left foot follows. The whole body moves as soon as you move your hand. When gravity moves forward to wrist, while bring your right hand to the middle line. The right hand should also act to block forward. The weight back seat while the right foot drops. The right hand covers to help left hand draw back. Push the left rotatory arm outward. Put your hand under your elbow. So name face on the elbow. Front view again. Left warrior nerve. Right hand follows. Turn to the nerves. Retort left arm with turning palm outside. Right hand reaches forward, right neck up, and then drop left hand drops. Pay attention to narrowing shoulders, dropping elbow, sitting the wrist down, 
covering right hand forward, bending the elbow to recover the right hand, narrowing the left shoulder and elbow, the thumb up from abdomen to the chest, hands and feet reach out at the same time, rotate the right thumb, sit with the root of the hand, and push the root forward, draw right fist back on the right elbow, the fist eye faces the shoulder side, and looking forward in another direction. More clearly about the left hand, weight forward, turn your body, left hand outward, Right hand forward, drop foot, right hand covers, left hand backward, palm pushes forward, right fist here and sit here with ambusters. This neck shape is the same as the hands drum loose. Is ambuster, drop heel slightly while lifting and dropping. It is also necessary to relax the ankle. Move the weight of the knee forward slightly and turn the right palm slightly inward and palm and heel supported outward. At the same time, the hip pulls back, form power frame. This is the practice of fist on the elbow, not to let you see clearly. We need to mark. Left branch knee and twist step also land with the half step forward. The hands are folded up and down. The heels are narrowing to adjust gravity. The hands turn to inward and send forward. Hips crossed. Weight nori, turn body right, back curl foot as possible as you can. Right hand rotate and recover it. Left hand aim at the right elbow. Right palm turn down. Drop left hand, relax the arm. Lift knee, focus on left hand. The waist retorted. Left hand recover it. Hold right hand. The lunge rolled over. Adjust the tiptoes angle. Left hand flat. Lifting the right hand, buckling the right foot at the same time. Back out as far as possible with the wrist. Bend it the elbow back. Roll the wrist up and lift the knee, wrist and hip relaxed. After neck is lifted, turn the hand in the lock. The gravity forward, turn body to the left. The foot lift, lifted, the right hand covered and sealed. Bend the left arm back. The right hand clenched and the left palm pushed out. This is the posture. Watch again in this direction. Starting from the left brush knee and two step. Hands drum loop. And breathe tiger return to the mountain. Lift the hand and flat, and fist on the elbow. This is the front and back display of the three movements, which is a convenience for everyone to follow. That's all for the nursing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Zhao. And Zhao, are you still Thank you, Marco. Thank you. 
Uh, have everybody have question? Sau tận chỉ phân trong khởi mà. Ah, hả đấy. Ừ. 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 Ah,你好。可以，大家可以先看一下现场。嗯，哇，这马上就要结束了。哇，哇，太棒了。他们这儿直播结束了，然后你要说几句话。啊，嗯，这个。张老师您好，恭喜。哎，你好，你好，你好。啊，恭喜您。呃，那个今天不好意思，呃，收几位徒弟在五指山，在那个海南岛啊。
Okay, thank you for the, our inter international TG friends. You can also write down where you're from and uh, so we can learn each other and next, uh, next lesson is in two weeks. Hmm. Deng Wei Tian. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, hey, um, everybody have some, want to see something? <laughs> if um, nobody, yeah, Marco said bye-bye, okay. Um, thank you very much for all the Taiji friends to um, enjoy us to practice our wonderful lecture. And um, yeah, you can also, our today lecture is will be in, um, in Open Taiji Communication Center in YouTube. You can also see, see, watch it again and practice every day. So see you in four weeks. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Again. Again. Bye-bye. Again. Again. Thank you.